Okay, welcome everyone to our new lesson which is prime numbers and composite numbers. So here we will learn about prime numbers and composite numbers. Which number are called prime and which number are composite numbers. So first of all, take a look. I will give some example. Okay. Three divided by one. Here, we will get the remainder zero. Equation which is three. Now, two. If we divide three by two, we will get question two and remainder one. And if we divide 3 by 3, the number itself, we'll get here question which is 1 and remainder 0. Okay? So, from this, what you have is that if we divide 3 by 1, the question will be 3 and the remainder will be 0. And if you divide 3 by 2, we will get question 2 and the remainder will be 1. And in the similar way, if we divide 3 by 3, then we will get question 1 and remainder 0. Okay. So from here, factor of 3, what we have got? 1 and 3. 1 and 3. Why 1 and 3? Because three, uh, 3 is exactly divisible by 1 and 3 is also exactly divisible by the number itself. Because we got here remainder as 0 and here also 0. But 2 we haven't got, uh, we have got the remainder as 1. So which means that it is not divisible by 2. Right? So here we have got 1 and 3 as a factor of 3. So from here we can say that prime number, okay, the number which has two factors. So like this, 1 and 3, two factors, okay. 1 and 3, the number which has two only two factors, okay, not more than that. So the number itself, because we are taking out the factor of 3, so uh, factor also we have got 3 and 1 okay in prime number in prime number what used to get we get 1 and the number itself is called a prime number okay so including uh, these two uh, numbers okay we uh, will get only these two numbers which have only two factors that is called prime factor uh, the one is the number is uh, the number itself and the other is one so if you got like this type of number if you got like this type of factors then we can say that it is a factor or prime number suppose here once again we can take uh, next number which is five okay I'll show you okay here I am taking 5, okay? So, if you divide 5 by 1, we get question over here is 5 and the remainder is 0. Because 5 on the 5, there will be no remainder. Again, if you divide 5 by 2, you will get remainder 1 and the question will be 4. Okay? Again, if you divide 5, by 3. So what we will get here? The quotient will be 1 and the remainder will be 2. Okay? 4 times. If we divide 5 by 4, the quotient will be and the remainder will be 1. 4 1 the 4, remainder will be 1. Again, we are talking. Uh, we are taking out the factor of five, so we have to go up to five. Okay. 
So if we divide by 5, the equation will be 1 and the remainder will be 0. Okay? And now take a look of another example. Okay. We are thinking of the factor of 5. Okay? So here if you divide 5 by 1, your equation will be 5 and the remainder will be 0. In a similar way, 5 is divided by 2. Okay? Here, 2 question will be 2 and the remainder will be 1. Here, if we divide 5 by 3, we have to go up to 5. Okay? Because we are taking all the factor of 5. So, we have to go up to 5. 3. Okay? So, question will be 1 and the remainder will be 2. In similar way, if we divide by 5 by 4. Here will be 1, the remainder also will be 1. So finally, if we divide 5 by 5, question will be 1 and the remainder will be 0. Right? So up to, up to here, what we have got is, here we have got remainder as 0, here also we have got remainder as 0. So here we have got remainder, if we divide 5 by 2, then we are getting 1. If we divide 5 by 3, we are getting 2 as remainder. If we divide 5 by 4, we are getting remainder as 1. So from here, you can say that 5 has only two factors because 5 is divided exactly by this two number only. By this two number only. If, we divide, if, if any number is exactly divided, then the remainder will remains always 0. Right? So from here, you can see factor of 5 is equal to which one? 1 and 5. So likewise, before I told you factor of 3, we have got there 1 and 3, which is only two factors. Similarly, here also we have got only two factors, which is 1 and the number of uh, and the number itself, which is 5. So you can say that uh, prime number prime number are the number which have only two factors okay which have only two factors uh, one and the number itself so in this way you can find out any prime numbers okay so now let's talk about composite numbers now we are talking about composite numbers so what numbers are called composite numbers so let's take an example so first of all I'll take here Four. Okay, so here four. If you divide four by one, you will get four as equations and remainder as zero, right? If we divide four by these two numbers, we will get two as equations and zero as a remainder, right? Again, if we divide 4 by 3, then we will get question is 1 and remainder will be 1. If we divide 4 by 4, question will be 1, remainder will be 0. Okay, so we are talking about 4, we are taking uh, 4, so we have to go or we have to divide up to 4, right? So here we will stop. And the factor that we have got is, which one will be the factor? The one which remainder is 0, right? So here, uh, here we have got this one, which is 1. Again, we have got remainder here 0, which is for 2. And here, which is 4. And here 3, 3 is not exactly divisible by, no, divisible. To this number so that's why we have got remainder is 1 so this is not the factor so here what we have got 1 2 and 4 as a factor of 4 so here you can see uh, here we you can see the factors there are three right three factors are there uh, of 4 so uh, from this from this you can see that composite numbers are those numbers which have more than two factors.
right so that's why 4 is also composite number why because 1 this is the uh, number uh, number 1 which is the factor of every numbers right and the number itself again we have got here two extra number right which is more than 2 so that's why composite number are those number which whose factor are more than 2 eta hernu ta yo dui ta ha yo dui ta bhanda ajai euta thappya ha yesko friend aha haina yo dui ta cha ko ajai euta factor aha so that's why it is composite number composite number bhani kyo those numbers which have more than two factors kela bhancha composite number eta hernu dui ta bhanda dherai cha tinta yo bhanda dherai pani huncha hai kosai ko char wada huncha paanch wada huncha so tisto number lai cha ke bhancha composite numbers right before in prime number we have got only two factor which is one and the number itself right but in composite number we is to get more than two numbers or two factors hey this co factor two one the dheri uncha dui ta number one the dheri uncha so yaha enos tapaile dui ta one the dheri paako cha hey so take another example Six square them. If you divide six by one, you will get question will be six and the remainder will be zero. If you divide six by two, the question will be three and the remainder will be zero. Right? If you divide six by 3 the question will be 2 the remainder will be 0 if, if we divide 6 by 4 the question will be 1 and the remainder will be 2 ok we have to go up to 6 so if we divide 6 by 5 the remainder will be 1 question will be 1 finally 6 divided by 6 question will be 1 remainder will be 0 so here we have to stop as you know we have to divide up to 6 because we are taking out uh, the factor of 6 so we are dividing up to 6 from 1 to 6 now from here you can see these are the factors of 6 why because the remainder is 0 right these two are not a factor of 6 which is 4 and 5 4 and 5 is not exactly divisible to 6 so that's why these are not a factor of 6 so here you can write factor of 6 which one 1 2 3 and 6 so you can see here we have got four factors over here Right? before uh, we have got three factors right so here we have got four factors so that's why it is also a composite number so as i already told you the number which have more than two factors are called composite numbers so we are getting here more than two we have we have got here four factors so that's why six is also a composite number right so in this way you can find out uh, what's the difference between composite and prime numbers okay okay so from this you can see we have got four factors right so to uh, to identify okay if you get if you are taking out the uh, if you're talking about a gradient number like uh, like 12 right like 24 like that type of number so to identify or to determine any number whether it is composite or prime numbers there is no need to find all the all the factors to determine it okay if we go here up to here so i as i wanted to tell you prior composite numbers have more than two factors right so yeah to really you will divide got the top of zero i remainder yeah got the zero i you got the zero i you can stop up to here right because as i wanted to tell you uh composite number one thank you the just gonna factor two on the dairy on the yama i mean it in the bit second so so the many you call up in the garden for the name Okay, so more than two. Yet, in terms of the factor, the value of 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 the
है क्यों प्राइम नंबर्स भो कंपोजिट नंबर्स को फैक्टर्स टू भाई धेरे हम हमें भेटी सके तीन टाइम भेटी सक बुझ्न कि प्राइम नंबर कंपोजिट नंबर्स होने ओके सो न नीड टू डू अल द फैक्टर्स ओके सो इन दिस वे यू कैन जिस फाइंड द फर्स्ट हई एली थ्री नंबर्स तब को आए तो स्टप गए हो तब था पाँच कि यह कंपोजिट नंबर होने ओके Now come to a very special number which is one. Okay, this is called very special number. Why? Because one. If you can see here, one e one one the one. There is no other factors, right? One has only one factors. The number itself. That's why. Okay. That's why one is neither prime, neither composite number. Okay. यो वन एवं रिजन से यो भी हो दूसरो रिजन के होने हमें पैल्हे भैस प्राइम नंबर में कि इट हेज इट हेज टू फैक्टर्स के प्राइम नंबर में टू फैक्टर्स होनी कंपोजिट नंबर में के मोर दैन टू फैक्टर्स ओके याद हो It has two factors. Two factor, but the prime number, composite number, one good more than two factors. Why? So, top of the one minus one like in a prime pin, one then a composite pin, one then a one. You see, here we have two little reasons. Why? Because one pin then is a one more factor, sir. So, why prime number one? Because what is one? Why? I mean, two factors. Why? Two other reason. Why? Why? Two other reason. Why? Composite number pin is why? 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 बिकज कंपोजिट नंबर में मोर दैन टू फैक्टर हो वन मत एवटा मत द नंबर इज सेल दैट्स वाई वन इज अल्सो ए स्पेशल नंबर इट इज नट प्राइम नंबर नट कंपोजिट नंबर ते भर यह दुईटा को कैटेगरी में आदि सो दैट्स वाई वन लाइट स्पेशल नंबर लज्यूम कर वन से सब नंबर को में फैक्टर में आँच ओके इट इज अ स्पेशल नंबर ओके सो दिस इज द मेन बिग रिजन For one that we are not saying uh, the, that one is not under prime number, not a composite number. Okay, so today we are going to do one like this. Okay, one sir, special number one. Okay, why? Because when it is okay, what is prime number? Why not composite number? Why not? Why not? Now you are here. Again, let's talk about two. Okay, two is a key one. You see, it is the lowest. Okay. And the only one even prime number हो यो, two even prime number हो एकदम सब बंदा सामो even prime number हो कुने पे नहीं prime number में तो पहले even बेर नो उन्दर ना two में तो इस तो number हो कि त्यो even हो अनि prime number वाको number सो, है? अब जो next तो let's talk about another number which is nine, है? Nine से क्यों बने? It is the lowest odd composite number. सब बंदा सामो ऐ सब बंदा एकदम लो सानो अड नंबर हो नाइन से ओड नंबर हो इट इज अ कंपोजिट नंबर एज वेल हई ये दूसरा एट भो हज एट क्या के भन चाहूँ एक्जापल अफ कंपोजिट नंबर के अरे यू कैन से एक्जापल अफ कंपोजिट नंबर यू कैन टेक फोर ओके यू कैन टेक सिक्स यू कैन टेक एट लाइक दिस यू कैन टेक Okay, yeah, why? Yeah. Because four has more than two factors, six has more than two factors, eight has more than two factors, and you can take two as an example for prime number two, three, and the other number will be odd number, right? Three plus two is five. Five is also an odd number. Seven is also an odd number, right? It has only two factors, seven and the number itself. Hey, seven and uh, and one. So that's why these are all prime numbers. One and seven. One and five, one and three, two and one. That is the factor of this number. So that's why they are prime number. These are composite numbers. So, तब ले वड़ा मो वोक दिन चु, है? Okay, I have some question over here. You can write P for prime number, and if the number are composite, then you can write C in a simple way, right? So, in first year, I have written here two. ओके ये टू सा टू से आप कौन से कैटेगरी में आऊँ सो प्राइम नंबर वेदर प्राइम और कंपोजिट सो लेट्स टॉल टेक अ लुक हियर टू इज व्हिच वन प्राइम और कंपोजिट इट इज प्राइम नंबर राइट यू कैन राइट हियर पी व्हाई पी बिकॉज़ 
2 has only two factors which is 2 and 1 right 2 ko say factor duita ba tha which is 2 and 1 the number itself and 1 so that's why it is prime number okay now let's look here 1 so 1 is a very special number as i have already told you 1 it uh, doesn't come in both the category so you can say here and you can write you can just cross over here because it is neither prime nor composite right so let's to take c which is number 12 12 you can see here 2 it can be divisible by 1 right it can be divisible by 2 it can be divisible by 3 right it has more factors right so that's why 12 is composite number because 12 has more than two factors right so that's why it is comes under c category which is composite number right hey is ko chai 1 le 12 le divide garda 12 le auncha 2 le 12 le divide garda 6 auncha aba 3 le divide garda bhi ke auncha 4 auncha hai na so that's why ke bhayo Factors are given on the surface. My key prime number, a composite number, Nigal Nubala, the Paliki on the Pario, whatever. See, you number exactly divisible by you, do it up on the Dere, Undicha, and you composite ion, I also top any high stroke by you, say on the Dere is an important four living in the four trees that you live in a hands. So, as I have already uh, know that it has more than two factors, so we can stop over here, right? Up I had a mere thirty eight. 48 line in Kyonzo, last my even number 7 yo, even number like Hansa. So that's why it is also a composite number. You can see here 8. Hey, eh? and a 2 lady by Gunsa. Hey, eh? so what this is, let's look here. 1 leva yo, 38 nea yo, right? 38 life in 2 leva yo, 2 leva the Batunza, 19 nea yo, hey, eh? our 3 lay. L and divisible more than exactly. Right? Even 38 le limb na ito to na. 38 le divide karte kya hamza ya? One hamza. So you can see here it has more than two factors, right? So that's why it is also composite numbers. Right? One and one ma ya? It is a prime number because one and one la ito. Kuni number di divide hamza na? Only the one and the number itself le more than divide hamza. Right? That's why one and one is also a prime number. Now 75, 75 boy, 75 le uda boy, 1 le uda boy, ani 5 le bini hunza yo, right? So that's why it is also a composite number. Hey, 75 le kikile tapa ni sirga le, no sok nunza, 75 one, 75 boy, ani 1 75 to 75, do it a factor again, ani uda 5 le bagar tapa ni hunza, hey? Now let's look here, 89. 89 89 uh, which number it is not divisible by any number uh, except 1 and 89 so that's why it is also a prime number right 89 let's say or rukuni number le khande na he let's say sirf tapai le 89 ani 1 le mathe khancha so which means that it has only two factors that is 1 and the number itself that's why it is a prime number so in this way you can find any number you can write any number and see whether it can it has more factors or not one right if you got two factors then you can uh, consider it as a prime number if you got more than two factor you can consider it as a composite number so i hope you are clear about prime number and composite numbers so uh, okay now let's learn more about these numbers in next uh, next lesson okay thank you